It's been described as one of the seven wonders of the waterways and today the Stand Edge Tunnel, the longest and deepest canal tunnel in the UK, has been opened up to canoeists for the first time. For much of its existence, the landmark, which runs from West Yorkshire to Greater Manchester, has only been accessible by passenger boat. Our reporter Fiona Lambden has more. We're heading in now. The other end of this is Greater Manchester and Diggle. Heading into the longest, deepest and highest canal tunnel in the country. Gordon to John, we are heading into the tunnel. We've got the lights on because otherwise it is literally pitch black in there. You don't want to be in there without a light. And this is us now going into the tunnel proper, as it were. We've just had a train go over our yeah. heads. Stanage Tunnel is one of the seven wonders of the waterways. It's a really eerie kind of tunnel. You can't see what's going on ahead of you. You've got only the sound of the water and the sound that we're making, that echo kind of makes you feel very small. And for the first time in its 200-year history, you can now explore it in a canoe. We're just about to go through a mini waterfall. <laughs> being inside a tunnel that was hand-built over 200 years ago. At first, you feel pretty claustrophobic. It is really close and enclosed. But once you get used to it, the temperature is about 8 degrees and you just relax into it. Actually, it's really peaceful. You think about the 1800s, people were in here digging this tunnel by hand. They had candles. You get a feeling of what it might have been like back, back then. It took 17 years to dig by hand, far longer than expected, and claimed at least 50 lives. If canoes aren't your thing, you can still journey through it and discover its history by trip boat. This area is renowned in the past for the, the sheep on the hill. Cloth was made mostly in the houses on the hillside. And then when the industrial revolution came, factories were built, mills were built. The mill owners thought, how do we get our cloth out? Because it takes too long to go over the top on pack horses. Why can't we have those canal things that they've got down in the Birmingham area? We've lived in Marsden about 18 years, but I've never been in the tunnel. I've seen the boats coming in and out and all the fun of that, but this is really good, isn't it? I don't feel scared or anything, and the commentary is really interesting about how they built the tunnel and how it kind of Thomas Telford got involved and everything, and it's quite smooth. It goes on for three miles. Funding is being cut, and maintaining the 2,000-mile network of canals is expensive. So whether you choose to paddle or travel on trip boat through the underground labyrinth, you're helping keep the waterways alive. Fiona Lambden, BBC News. The bucket list experience that's breathing new life into the UK's grand industrial past. Stand Edge Tunnel was once seen as a wonder of the waterways, a long subterranean canal linking Yorkshire and Lancashire underneath the Pennines. Now it's opened up for a unique paddle trip. Our North of England reporter, Amy Welsh, went along. <laughs> It's a feat of engineering history, both eerie and extraordinary. And now, for the first time, people are being given the chance to paddle through Stanage Tunnel from one side of the Pennines to the other. There are some curtains of water and stuff like that, so you will get wet. It is cold, it is damp, but if we keep moving, keep paddling, you'll be fine. Well, what a fabulous opportunity. I mean, it's, it, it's an incredible adventure. Seen it advertised, um, put it in a WhatsApp group, next thing we know we're all signed up and ready to go. 
The Canal and River Trust came up with the idea as a way of funding their waterways. We want to get people to use the waterways in so many different ways. You can walk on a towpath cycle, you can take a narrowboat. This is, this is canoeing and canoeing through a tunnel is even more exciting than, than uh, a normal piece of canal. Not only is this the longest canal tunnel in the UK, it's also the highest and the deepest. And in theory, it should take two hours to get to the other side. Once inside, expect the unexpected. From a tunnel that took 17 years to build and claimed at least 50 lives. The journey starts in Marsden near Huddersfield and after three and a half miles of paddling underground, canoeists end up in Diggle in Greater Manchester. Making it to the other side means they've made history. Some of it is the bare rock, so it's literally like paddling through a cave system. It's a, it's a bit like bumper cars, but, you know, what the heck? I just wanted to do something different and... Uh... Yeah, I hadn't, I hadn't really got any expectations, but it, it was really enjoyable. And most important question, how are you all getting home? Walking. Pub, then walking. <laughs> and if four miles seems too far, there's always the bus. Amy Welch, ITV News, Marston.